Hello everybody, Matt here and today I'm bringing you a new episode of my road to glory. So let's get straight into it. I started off by making a new team, uh, a City at our team, because, uh, well, my uh, League 1 team, or League 1, was getting pretty tired and I needed to rotate the squads around. So, as you can see, we did buy uh, most players with about 300 coins. We bought Campignaro, Lejaic, De Jong, we bought um, Kuzmanovic, I believe that's how we pronounce the name. Marco Marin, we did buy a striker uh, who was worth more than 300 coins, we bought Di Natale. And uh, Di Natale is actually a really good striker, even though he got downgraded a lot, which kind of sucks. But he's still a brilliant striker. And now here we look for our left back. We're going to have to buy a silver left back because... Um, well, yeah, there was no gold left backs in Serie A who were cheaper than 1,200 coins. So we do indeed buy a silver left back. He has 81 pace. Uh, Biragi, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. And we are left with 89 coins. But that completes our Serie A team. And we uh, put, well, obviously put all our players on the bench. We have a few injuries, I do believe. Um, oh, no, we have a few injuries after the next game. But we do have 97 chemistry, so here you go, first game, I forgot to record the actual game, so I'm just showing you like the goal highlights, Dean and Tyler got 3, Marco Marin got 1, and Marin got 2 assists, our goalkeeper got an assist, and Kuzmanovic got an assist. So we do gain 3 points, and here are the goals, as you can see, quit out in the 19th minute, um, we had 4 shots, scored 4 goals, so here you go in the 5th minute, falls through to Marco Marin. He somehow uh, muscles off the defender and just puts it past the keeper. And then our second goal was with Adina Tale, as were all the others. He just gets it and puts it past the keeper. I don't know how he wasn't in the offside position, but apparently he wasn't. Now for the third goal, um, Marco Marin runs and we just kind of sweat it to Di Natale. I could have gone with Marco Marin. But, I, you know what, I decided why not just try and get a few goals for him. And to complete Di Natale's hat-trick, his goalkeeper derps just runs under the ball. Di Natale receives the ball, slots it in the net, and that is how our goalkeeper got an assist. So we win 4-0, and we do get the three points on the table in the new division. So that is pretty good. And now here we are into our second game. He is an 81-rated team, and it is actually a decent team. He's got Mandzukic, Hernandez, Griezmann, Matthew, Godin, uh, Ter Stegen, Kadira, Rafael Varane. You know, very, very uh, good players. And I felt like this was going to be a hard match uh, to win or to even get a point out of. But in the 23rd minute, it was hard match. Griezmann ran through and we just slide tackled him. I didn't really pick my timing right. And we immediately get a red card. No yellow cards. Um, given just a straight red and I guess it was um, justified because he was the last player uh, so that kind of sucks that we got the red card but shortly after we have Jermaine running in passes it to Ben Yedda Ben Yedda gets a bit lucky with the ball and then we also get a bit lucky because they just completely take out our player even when he doesn't have the ball and the worst thing is that Golden only got a yellow and I'm not quite sure how that makes sense um, but According to EA, it does, so we were down to 10 men, they should have been down to 10 men, but Jermaine steps up, put about two, part, two power bars on it, slot it into the left-hand corner, and that made it 1-0 in the 31st minute, so that was pretty good. But then 37th minute, shortly after we scored our penalty, we do bring him down in the box, which kind of sucks, um, and he does get a penalty, we get another yellow card, thankfully we didn't get a red. And he has Ter Stegen, apparently uh, trying to score the penalty. I don't think he takes it with Ter Stegen. I think he takes it with Mario Mandzukic. There you go. You can see he does take it with Mandzukic. Will he be able to put it in the net and make it 1-0 in the 39th minute? And he does. We dive to the right. He puts it in the middle. And there you go. 1-0 in the 40th minute. And in the dying moments of the first half, we do chip it over to Ayu from Ben Yedda. And Ayu just smashes it in the net. Uh, we do shush him because this guy was getting a bit annoying in the connect. But Ayu scoring his first goal, I believe, for the club. So that was a that was a pretty important goal, making it 2-1. And I thought maybe we can hold on to this lead that we have in the 45th minute. But in the 75th minute, 
Griezmann runs down the wing, somehow gets this cross in. It was really weird. He kind of slides and crosses it. I tell Dinier to clear it. He clears it as far as Kadira. Kadira just runs through and puts it in the net. Obviously, the uh, the man down advantage or the man advantage he had uh, helped him greatly because we literally uh, couldn't defend some of it. Uh, but anyway. That was 2 all. I thought it was a pretty good uh, point to get since we were down to 10 men and we had a very, very good team. And we do get another point on the table, so we're up to 4 points in this new division. Get a few extra coins for the team. It's a very, very close match. We just had one more shot on target and then that was it. And before going into the third game, we do decide to quick sell uh, two of the BPL, Alderfield and Baruch players that we bought for 300 coins each. Do make about 10 coins profit on each of them, I know, so much profit. And then we go buy a fitness card uh, to apply to our left back in the City A squad. And then we come up against another City A squad, mainly Juventus squad, apart from uh, two players. And he does have a Benucci, Ogbonna and uh, Giafinko, which was kind of scary because he's got a very solid defence, apart from the... Uh, left centre back who was on uh, like 3 chemistry I think it was and then he has Giafinko who is extremely pacey, 93 pace I believe but that doesn't matter because just straight from kickoff Marco Marin does a roulette, gets past uh, two players then runs it past uh, another two and then there's two chasing him, Ronaldo chops, split open the defence, finesses it round the keeper making it 1-0 in the first minute and I thought well this could be an easy game that could have just been um, could have just been an early goal and we could get destroyed. However, it was a pretty easy game. In the fourth minute, we do some nice passing here. Di Natale, I thought, why not just blast it near post? And somehow his keeper saves it. It comes off the crossbar. And Marco Marin is there to put in the rebound. Just smashes it in the net. And after, well, six minutes almost, we are up 2-0 thanks to Marco Marin. And in the 14th minute, just going into the 15th, we chip it over to Di Natale. Marin loses his marker by stepping back a few steps. Di Natale passes it to him and then we just pretty much just slot it in the net. And uh, Marco Marin has his hat-trick in the 15th minute. Now in the 35th minute, Kuzmanovic, one of our CDMs actually, just making a brilliant, brilliant run. Pushing through everyone, blasts it in the net, 4-0 in the 36th minute. I thought, this guy's got a rage quit. We've pretty much got the game in the bag. I don't see a way he can come back. I think it's his three at the back which uh, helped us a lot. However, in the 40th minute, Giafinko, a very, very weak shot, just comes off our goalkeeper's foot and our goalkeeper lets it go in the net. So 4-1, he definitely had a chance to come back into it, but I thought we can definitely hold on to the lead and maybe even extend it. Now in the 60th minute, we do get a corner. Voice crack. Uh, Di Natale steps up to take the corner, cross it in, and Lajajic just... He just smashes it in the goal of his head. Didn't really expect him to climb up and win it over all of the defenders that this guy had. But apparently he does and it makes it 5-1 in the 60th minute. And that is pretty much a game right there. And in the 80th minute, we just decide to rub some salt in the wound. Marco Marin receives the ball from Di Natale. Kind of, it just bounces off his back. He steps back a few steps and just, well, he just kind of jumps and... Uh, put it in the net. I don't know how he did this finish, but it was a pretty amazing finish to be honest. So I was pretty happy with that. Unfortunately in the 81st minute we do get a red card because Manovic getting his second yellow and uh, that means we're down to 10 men for the last 8 minutes but it doesn't actually matter because we win 6-1 as you will see. Marco Marin with 4, because uh, Manovic with 1 and I believe it was Di Natale with 1. I'm not too sure about that though. And yeah. So that is 6-1. Di Natale actually got 5 assists, 0 goals, and Jaric got a goal. And that is it for this uh, episode. So thank you all for watching. We'll get another 3 points on the board. But thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and have a brilliant day.